Hello there, Tenacious Crew. Welcome back to another round of Grand Arena. This is the week three, round one of the 5v5. Let's see who our opponent is. It's um, Mall Walk from North Riders Inc. 11.5 GP. So similar range as uh, is my account. And. Uh, Let's take a look at the inventory. Uh, I don't think they have anything uh, like particularly, uh, you know, uh, me meaningfully uh, advantageous. Like uh, I don't think they have a new killer in back. Um, looks like uh, they have a decent amount of data crons. And uh, let's take a look at their defense. They did one attack already, so I guess let's take a quick look. I guess they removed our Leia. Uh, looks like uh, Captain Rex did not give any uh, problems to their, um, I assume, Jabba. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what they've got for us. Uh, we have uh, Zori. Um, Jedi, then we have Malgus with no DR, Ray. Let's see what we got up top. So we have LV with the Inquisitors. We have the usual EP team, which I guess we could uh, use GG if necessary, but we probably should have enough offense. Um, so then there's Savage, Treya, and DR. We'll have to look up uh, what's going on over there. Um, like as far as counters, I don't think I've faced this one before, but it's, it sounds interesting. Um, DR is pretty fast. You can go and fee everybody at 345. And the final uh, defensive team is the Diddy. Dark Giddy. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, I think we're gonna have to use Bad Batch here. Um, not sure if the team is weaker and we can use something cheaper because Ezra removes some kind of bonus from uh, JK. I think it's the double damage bonus from his um, bonus turn. So he's got 60, 340. Uh, I think our Beko is way faster than that. And just double check, yeah. We'll just use uh, Bad Badge. Maybe it's meant to uh, use our Bad Badge. Um, but I think But I think we uh, we have enough teams for our, uh, for offense. Okay, so the typical start, we do the days, hope for stuns. Let's give us defense up so we can start doing the extra damage. Uh, let's switch to echo. And uh, I think we should be able to knock out both. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that was pretty fast and easy. We got 75, and looks like they took out our LV as well. So they're doing pretty well. Um, let's turn to our Ufu team. So it's... Uh, Seer, Fulcrum, Cal, Crew, and of course Malakos. And we'll use Seer's, but mainly the goal is to get the stack in defense. Okay, uh, what do they have? Yeah, they have a defense cron with some defense as well. This is the last week of the defense cron. 
at least in the current iteration. Maybe there will be a set uh, after the upcoming one. All right, so let's get rolling. Do a big hit here. I guess it wasn't all that big. We got speed down on them, so that's good. Yeah, we don't have this. Uh, yeah, let's do the repost. Okay, we might get a. We might get a. Whirlwind to the face from Ray. Because I think she got pretty low. Or maybe not. Um, let's do this. I um, guess we'll have to waste um, the dispel, but we got. Um, we should be able to knock out the uh, stacks of uh, inspired from Ray right now. Okay, now Ray is in the damage immunity for the first time. Let's see if we can get Swallow in there as well. Excellent. Maybe Sortie too? I don't think so. Okay, so Ray is now in her ult. Let's remove the stacks of inspired. Uh, maybe smack sorty. We don't really want her to be gaining crazy um, evasion. I think that's what she gains. Oh, we haven't we haven't removed all the inspired from Ray. Well, that's that's bad. I thought that uh, uh, I thought that AOE from Algus uh, from Malakos would have taking care of that. I was wrong. Okay. L3 is gone. Okay. We're gonna get another whirlwind. Which is less than ideal. Let's see. We'll probably have to do this and now let's get inspired off of Ray once again we couldn't mm. Ray's gonna get into her alt or maybe not let's see if Malikos can wreck her no not fast enough Okay, uh, all right, we're getting a little bit endangered over here. We need Ray to be out and Ray is gone. Okay, excellent. Now it's just a matter of taking out Sorty and then good old Ray. Maybe we'll be able to recover enough banners. Maybe not. Okay, raising damage immunity. I mean, not right, JTR. Uh, and it looks like we have decent amount of health on two. Alicos is still. Can we heal ourselves up? Okay. And I think we'll lose like what a couple three three banners. Okay, that's still decent. It looks like they cleared our whole front bottom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look to see if there's a better counter for the Malgus team with no DR. We might need to have a, a bit of a a bit of an extra help for the LV team. 
All right, so it looks like the, our opponent does not seem to be having any issues whatsoever. I mean, granted, my defense wasn't super amazing. Oh, no, they did uh, lose to Lord Vader once. Okay, well, that's good. And we just need to be... And just we need to be safe. Although we might lose to their Lord Vader as the counters seem to be kind of rough to this specific comp. Oh, but they don't have Maul. Oh, uh, okay. So that could be... They could be better. Okay. So... We will use Starkiller on Finn. I'm tempted to use Gas on Malgus. Because I feel like there should be, have, they should have a team in the back that Gas can deal with, and that will allow us to save. Uh, or do we just go with the C and just take a guaranteed win? We might need to use C against that. Uh, a team although we could just use um, SLKR so tentatively we'll use we'll use the Inquisitors versus Starkiller we'll use JMK on Lord Vader Rogue One Rados should be able to take out Whatever those, um, Diddy. Then we have SLKR for the Sith team. So that leaves us JML, Inquisitors, Treya, and Jamba. And yeah, so yeah, let's just see here. We'll give him what, and probably should be good enough, but you know, uh, let's just be a bit more on the safe side and we'll give him, we'll give him good old trooper. F let's find a nice data crown with some health. Is that good? No, it's not good enough. Uh, we had some much better. Mm. Yeah, let's just go with that. I think that should be relatively easy. Okay. Tan tech, tank tech to uh, C. We will link both the twins, the ball twins. It's kind of weird that they, uh, like Malgus is basically a copy of Malik. In so many ways, similar name, similar facial issues. Uh, let's see, maybe we can heal up the trooper a little bit. Oh no, I guess he has both both doubt and shock. So yeah, no healing for him. Okay, they're going after what? C, okay, what is gone? C is about, uh, what, three quarters ultimate charge? I don't know, maybe it was a waste of Sith Trooper. I don't think they can really do much to C, especially with a tank tech, you know, he, I mean, that was a big hit, another big hit. Okay, you know, maybe having Sith Trooper was that okay in there. Because C is kind of getting hit, although he does have a pretty big health pool. So even if he loses protection, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, uh, we'll link Marauder for sure. And Basti. We'll try to take out Sith Assassin. Never mind, we'll just hit Marauder. Because he regains uh, 
health pretty well. Okay, now let's hit Sass. Now Sass cannot go into stealth. Sass is gone. Sass is gone. And now we just keep hitting Marauder and nuke them both. Okay, 61, nothing amazing, but we'll take it. Okay, let's go and take out Starkiller. I mean, take use Starkiller to take out Zori. Do we need anything fancy for him? Mm, that's... I don't think he needs anything. Uh, let's just go without... Although we should have enough data cron. You know, that's fine. Let's give him this... Some extra buffs. And we'll start with the tenacity down. Now let's give him a little stagger. Stun? No stun. Okay, that's less than ideal. Uh, let's try to dispel the buffs. Do we have enough to take out Zori? Uh, let's take out Finn. Let's spread shock. Still have a couple left, but the other ones are in stealth. Okay. We should be able to get rid of her. Because if she dispels her allies, I think she also gives them tenacity up. And I think it's still a win, but they might nuke some of our people. Alright, so that's good. 65. Did they break through the back already? Okay, so we have Jabba. We have Dash with two Omis, and we have Mon Mothma. Okay, so that should be straightforward here. I really need to save that team. Uh, Druid, Druid. So we'll do those two, of course, and we'll do these guys. Now let's make sure to equip the correct Datacron. Okay, that's the one. And let's roll. Drain their cooldowns. Well, not drain, increase their cooldowns. Summon the droid. They're going after poor bt1 but here we'll use the basic so he misses after takes a turn now he's gonna go again and he should have a decent amount of he's almost full because uh, regarding turn meter because of all the buffs he uh debuffs he uh, applied and i think here we just do the aoe to get Bosch into uh, damage immunity, yep, so now we got both Boba and Bosch in the damage immunity. We'll, we did basic with uh, triple zero as well, just so that he can take an extra turn. And now BT1 starts assisting, and now we got Chrysanthemum in a damage immunity as well. They're going after IG and HK, it's fine. I think basic here actually gives IG another turn. So Afra is gonna keep looping those turns. We'll do a big AOE. Let's heal up a little bit and take out Bushleya. Now that should take care of Boba. Now let's just do this one. Basic here. Now Chrysanthemum is gonna come back. Let's heal up. We need uh, the banners. We're gonna increase the cooldowns. Okay, that's Chrysanthemum right here. Actually, let's just go for Jabba. Jabba is gone, and let's heal up again. We should be at full. Excellent. 
Well, that was nice. That was very nice. Okay, I'll double check the counters once again, just to see what's the ideal split because we need to be very efficient. All right, so let's get this done. We are going to use Rogue One here, or do we, do we even need to do that? All right, let's do the JMK on LV first. Uh, we don't have, um, we don't have, um, um, GK available because we used him for the race. So let's hope that's still gonna be enough. Uh, no revive. Stacking offense. Let's go with a stacking offense. Okay. So the plan here is nuke Riva. Get rid of um, GI. So we're going to do this. Okay. So she's gone. Then we'll cleanse with Padme. Okay. Mm, let's swap to JMK. We want to get rid of GI as quickly as possible. His ability block now, it's good. Let's, well, cannot stun her. Maybe we're going too hard with the specials. As LV seem to be gaining quite a bit of the ultimate charge. Okay, let's go again we should be gaining some offense from our datacron um, protection up excellent perfect timing uh, we're gonna cleanse all that nasty stuff with our ult let's wreck um, the Grand Inquisitor. Okay. Any time now. I mean, I guess they are gaining quite a bit from that uh, uh, defense. Stack and defense cron, which I assume that's what they have. Okay, GI is gone. Let's focus on Fifth Brother. That is a lot of um, defense for sure. We might need to stack our mastery a bit more. Maybe we just need to, to pivot and go after LV, to be honest. Why do we even bother with them, right? So let's go after him. Yeah, that was a mistake trying to clear those out. Uh, let's st still hit him with the... Um, with a shatter point, okay, so, uh, armor shred on LV, okay, cleanse with Padme, excellent, we'll swap to JMK again, but I think now we'll lose the high ground, no, we don't have, we still have, it. okay, so, now LV has the healing immunity, but he's gonna come into his ult pretty soon. In fact, next turn. Okay, um, let's go ability block here, heal up a little bit. Protection up. Do we have the ult? We do not have the ult. Maybe that's why 
Those lose. Mm. Hopefully we have the revive still available. No, we do not. Yikes. Okay, well, without... Uh, what do we do here? Um, let's clear everything up. Mm, yeah, without uh, Ahsoka, this is not going well. But I think we can still clean it up, so let's try to... Focus on the positive, which I'm not sure what the positive is. And let's go after LV, but we just don't have enough damage. And that's a nice uh, comp. Okay, I guess we'll have to use LV here, I mean JML, to clean it up. And now it kind of creates the snowball effect of. Uh, Having issues. Okay, well, he used his uh, AoE. She used her AoE. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back and try to clean it up with the uh, oh, good old Jedi. So, this, this, this. We'll have the nice protection cron. Mm -hmm. We got that. Alright, let's roll. I think we still have enough to clean the clean clean up the rest of them. Uh, ability block did not work. We will go with this. Honestly, let's just get rid of her. Let me do basic and let's do repost over here. Uh, do we do the stun? Let's do the stun. We'll in increase the cooldowns and give us turn meter. Okay. Let's go. Let's just go right after him, to be honest. We will give Cal then. Okay. Increase the cooldown and mark with uh, JKR, now we will continue going after LV, Armor Shredder, excellent, just basic here, and let's smack him again, and again, okay, he's gone, alright, well, that's not too bad, so that was one hold, okay, They end up. Oh, Do they end up losing any more battles here? Oh, okay, so we have some cushion. Just gotta be. Um, just gotta be efficient. Okay, so here we'll do. Oh, I have Java too. I forgot about that. Okay, so we'll do SLKR here. We'll go with uh, some first order goobers and let's go with a good old Geo Brood Alpha. Protection up, defense, defense. We should have enough defense to survive whatever happens. So we'll stun Savage, swap over here, do the nice AoE, okay, the cooldown drain is not ideal, okay, uh, so uh, the summon eats the uh, isolate. That's good. Ooh. 
we're getting close to the oat. They're really going after the poor old uh, uh, Faust. Now Faust is gone, but we have the full oat. Um, basic here, lost GBA. Okay, that was a huge hit. And now it's down to just solo SLKR against all of them. Let's do the AoE. And let's do another AoE. Okay. Excellent. Trey wasted her isolate. And now we are just in a cleanup mode. I mean, I guess let's drain Savage a bit more. I don't think we can recover our protection, but we got the win. 56 banners, pretty poor, but it's a win. <clears throat> let's see, so we have four. And we've got... Um, probably we'll use Trey here. Got Inquisitors, BH, Jabba. Do we have Treya? Pretty sure we do, yeah. Okay. And CLS. Oh, excellent. So CLS, we'll use them on the. Uh, Mon Mothma, right? Okay, so here we will use Treya. Right. Treya, Savage. Let's give him some protection recovery. No, they don't have any of that. Hmm. I guess let's just have protection. I mean, Dash is gonna wreck all that anyway. Mm. Okay. Talonol already? That's nuts. They must have had that uh, cooldown reset. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try to make some moves over here. How do we not have any... Uh... Wow, we lost Cyan already. Well, those should at least get the win, right? Let's continue hitting Vandor. Alright, Vandor is gone. Now let's go after Dash. Drain their cooldowns. Increase their cooldowns. Dash is gone. Now uh, we will try to smack... Okay, let's nuke Hondo. Well, that was uh, definitely a more challenging team that I expected. Oh, that's that cost us six banners. All right, let's. I'll double check a few more counters just to be sure, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's uh, take care of Mon Mothma. Hold on, is there some kind of a fancy? Uh, okay, I don't think there's any fancy data crunch on their side, so let's go with uh, our CLS. Mm, maybe, you know, maybe no revive, right? No revive should be nice to kind of make it nice and easy for us. 
I don't know. That's I haven't. Oh, I mean, I do have a uh, womp. Right? I should have just womp at it. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's hit Garadun. Remove her turn meter. Okay. She's not gonna be revived. And. Put Let's apply this. We're losing some banners, which, which is not ideal. Let's try to recover some. And that should wrap it up. Okay, 65. I guess could have used Wampa for 68, but I kind of forgot it's been a while since I used Wampa. Okay, so here we will use Inquisitors on... Um, Star Killer. Mm, right, we got enough. Let's use the Repost uh, Datacron. And I think it should be good. Although it's also possible that I can blunder it somehow. Um, let's try to nuke Juhani. Yeah, let's remove her uh, taunt. And do we just go for Star Killer? Maybe let's go for Pulp. Okay. Pulp is almost done. Uh, the is gonna bring him back, which is not ideal. Uh, let's do the AoE and kill him off again. What? Oh, is that her Datacron? Oh boy. Okay, now she's gone, enough of the blunder, so let's nuke Palpatine again, let's focus on Starkiller now, okay, he took out some of our buffs, but I think we should be able to, no, we didn't, okay, should have saved the, the this spell, but we got rid of Star Killer and we should be good now. Yeah, so even with blundering, uh, it's still a nice matchup. I did double check and it says 96% on uh, GG, so I guess somebody still managed to screw it up even more than I almost did. But we got uh, 65 max banners, excellent. And. Um, Could be a bad idea because I think he Rex. Um, I think uh, Diddy Diddy can uh, wreck Jabba on offense. I'm not sure if he can do it on defense, but let's go for it. Mm, I guess we'll just give him the buff immunity. Excellent. Let's go after Dark Trooper. Okay, he cleansed everything, which is less than ideal. Oh, okay. Well, they're losing. They're losing somebody, so that's good to see. Let's continue smacking Diddy. Okay, uh, can we nuke him? No. Let's attack uh, Scout. Let's apply Dismembered on Diddy. Scout again. Man, Scout is like... Didn't they supposed to lose 400% of their... Uh, I mean, half of their defense? At least the thermals did the work, so... Looks like we're gonna get the win. Alright, excellent. Alright, 65. And let's see if the ships can make the difference in this game. Um, negotiator, Executor, and Thrawn. 
I'll double check my options and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so fleets. Mm, you know, the, the Marauder is actually kind of a unpleasant comp. And I recently have lost to the triple attacker executor with my profundity. So none of those are super easy at all. So I have my own Thrawn, my profundity and executor. So Thrawn No. Yeah, I lost with Thrawn to uh, the Negotiator. Because Marauder just hits a lot harder. So, maybe we will need to change it up a little. Let's, um, let's see what is the margin of error. So, 219. Two nineteen and thirteen seventy three will have fifteen ninety two and if we average let's say we average we'll do seventy seventy and fifty so that's one ninety so that's seventeen eighty two so we we have two losses that we can deal with so let's go I mean, the most, probably, the easiest would be to preload the executor and then try to do it with the first order. Then, we go with uh, probably profundity on negotiator and executor versus chimera. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, as it is a bit cheaper, I think. Let's find some kind of a bad wedge. Okay, you're one of them. You are one of them. And, uh, who was our other one? Um... Yeah, we're not going to use that most likely. So I think those two, two ships should be enough. Do we need the third one? So we're going to do one, two, three, four. Mm, let's get the third one. That might be too much though. I feel like I had a... I remembered a nice uh, kamikaze team that w worked really well, but for some reason, ah, oh, we all go before. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. Okay, so first attack takes out um, one ship, and then perfect. Wow, I definitely need to remember this one. Okay, so now we go back with the first order, and hopefully no blunders here. Let's add this guy, and if we play it correctly, that should be a good win. Okay, so... We will probably need to save. So let's just hit this one with. Uh, oh, that's a dodge. That's unfortunate. Another dodge. That's bad. Let's go with um, swap over here. Big hit. And now he's gonna heal up. Now let's go for another big hit. Mm. Mm. 
Will that be enough? No. Well, we are definitely blundering. We are definitely blundering, so we will need to try to ability block and and or stun this guy. Okay, that's good. Let's attack him again. Now we we probably just basic here. We still hope for a nice big hit. It's just not enough. Um, let's go again. Can we at least stun him? We, will, we probably should have stunned Bosk. Now Bosk is about to taunt. No. Okay. Uh, at least we have finally the first target lock. Yeah, that that did not go well at all. Um, let's gain turn meter. It should have been a stun, but somehow it didn't work. Okay, so we'll dispel something. Let's give him. Mm. Let's do this. No. I am definitely blundering. I am definitely blundering this. It was such a typically easy win. Okay, let's try to at least do something. Okay, we took out IG. But now, this might be problematic. Okay, they took out this guy. And can we really do anything at all? With the crit hit immunity, I don't think we can do much damage here. Just one more hit, let's see. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too bad, but it's also not very good. Okay, I'll need to relook at, look once again. Okay, so let's try for mirror here. So we got Empire, we got the typical starting lineup, and we have those two. So we gotta win the mirror, and we'll do Executor versus Negotiator, and Profundity against the leftover executor. I think that should make it work. Okay. So let's bring in Interceptor. Okay, and uh, they got a dodge, but they were probably about to go anyway. Okay, well that's not good. Oof, that's sad. Okay, at least we should be able to take out some of their ships, but I think, yeah, we're losing ours. Um, maybe we should use basic there. We need some... Okay, we're losing more ships. Now we're down to just two. Uh... Our only hope is to survive for for the Tide Defender cheese. Man, I really need to work on my um, fleet counters. Let's go here. Okay, we're now down to just two ships. Basic should give us the taunt. Miss, miss, okay. Nuke, heal. And basic here. Okay, and. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, I should have just used the basic. Okay, anyway. Oh, 66 terrible banners. Um, let's see if Profundity can win. I feel like they should. 
right? Although, if, if they go first, they can mark. All right, that's gonna be bad regardless. So let's just hope for the best. Yeah, I don't remember what their cooldowns were. I probably should have uh, looked into adjusting their cooldowns. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's mark this guy and let's go all out on Cat Bane. Okay, he's gone. That's good. Now focus down Razor Crest. Bosk Taunts, but we should bring one reinforcement. And then the next one on the follow-up turn. Okay, they mark our Millennium Falcon, but we had the cleanse ready. And let's give us speed up. We might be able to get through boss. Wow, okay, that's nice. Okay, now let's take care of Razor Crest. And he's gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and use Uh, the executor against negotiator. That should be a win, right? They're going after Razor Crest. Let's hit their Anakin and uh, let's mark him, right? Okay, they give him the unyielding loyalty, but I think we can continue. Now he's got buff immunity and it, and still the mark, right? Mm -hmm. So we should be able to knock him out. Let's use this special just in case. Okay, now that should be. I think that should be relatively easy now. Ability block here. Ability block here. That didn't land. Okay, if they bring out. They bring out Y Wing now. Okay. We keep applying target locks. We have the contract, which is great. Let's continue. Maybe let's try it again, greedy. Excellent. Let's heal up. Okay, we're losing some banners, but we're gonna hit them with the seismic charge. And we get an AoE to lose more banners, and now they have the reinforcement. Okay, let's just use the ult. And let's finish up Marauder. Okay, Marauder is down. That's great. Basic here. Mm, let's just do the AoE. Okay, well, that went pretty... The fleet were pretty bad, but luckily we had some... Uh, some buffer from the ground battles. Yeah, they were much better versus our fleet. But thankfully, we have to thank Zori and Ray. If not for them, that would have been pretty bad. And here, the usual LV. Okay. Well, nice to get a win. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.